Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you what I do to paint baseboards. Um, I like using the interior exterior paint. I find it's just a harder paint um, and it just dries quicker uh, than the interior paint. Uh, so I typically always use the interior exterior when I'm doing baseboards. Uh, you're going to want uh, a wet rag because you're probably going to get some on some spots that you don't want it. Uh, and then a paintbrush. It doesn't have to be brand new like this one. It just happens to be new. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to show you is the techniques that I use when painting uh, baseboards. This area here, we just put new tiles in this bathroom. Um, reinstalled some of the old baseboards, some of the grout got on things. But typically, mainly, what I'm going to show you is what I do when I'm cutting a baseboard to not get it on the floor and to not get it on the wall without, without taping up uh, everything. So I find with, with doing baseboards, you're going to be comfortable uh, either going this way or going the other way. Uh, and you've got to put a bit of elbow grease into it, you've got to get down on your knees to do it. Uh, see for me, I'm trying it now, this, this is not comfortable. If I have to, if I'm in a corner of jam, I can go this way, but typically I like to go this way. So if there was a big room, I would start at the other side of the room uh, and then just work my way all the way down. And for the paint, see so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to get some on the brush and I'm going to wipe it off. Uh, but I'm typically just going to wipe off this side of the brush and I'm going to leave it on there. Uh, and the reason why, you see that side's clean. The reason why is when you put it on here now, that paint's going to start coming off the brush from the top, top down. See, so you don't run out of paint uh, as quick as you would. And then the front face, you can literally just dip your brush and just paint the whole front of them. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll do, you know, a whole section, maybe, I don't know, a couple of feet and then paint the fronts and then paint the bottom. And I do a couple of feet uh, and then paint the fronts and then paint the bottom. I mean, it doesn't matter what order you do that in. Uh, but let me just do a little section here to show you. So I'm just dipping the brush, cleaning off the bottom side. And then I'm just cleaning off some of the paint there. And then I'm gonna get it. And then I'm just gonna, you kinda have to have a steady hand, but there, so I did about two feet there. It's running. Some of these old, base, some of these baseboards are old. We didn't do this corner here. And then for the bottom, let me just get in the corner. Like I said, the fronts, you can just get like this. For the bottom, to the quarter one typically, it's the same thing. I would do, uh, just dip it, clean the bottom off, leave some paint on top. And the reason I'm cleaning the bottom off is so it doesn't go all over the floor. See something, oh, I caught it. But same thing. You wanna bunch the brush up, see, like this. Like this, you can get it close. It's dripping, but I'll clean it. So I'm going to get as close as you can to the floor. See like that? And then you can feel when you're running out of paint because it starts to get uh, a little stickier. And it goes smooth. So you can get rid of your paint in the corner. You don't want to have too much or it's going to drip like it did in that corner, but I'll just clean that. And then you see here, let's get the bristles close. Uh, and it's the same if you have carpet. Oops, there's a hole that wasn't filled there. I'm just going to fill it with paint. And then on the front face, you just hit the whole front like this. And it's already starting to dry. So again, just to show you, see this section's been done, this hasn't. I'm gonna dip it, I'm gonna clean off the back and the sides. See a paint on the front, not the back. Sometimes you wanna go a little lower because the paint's gonna bunch up like that. Um, and then you wanna get your bristles right in there. See? 
just like that. Uh, for getting right in the corners, if you have a brush like this, see I did the same thing, just paint here, there's none here. You're going to want to see what's going right in the corner there. And then you're going to want to finesse it just a bit. Same on this side. Just to get it started. And here I'm going to I'm going to go backwards just cuz the way the brush is, is shaped. And you see right there. I mean, it can take practice, but it's really not that hard, to be honest. See, that's down in the corner here. Same here. Same thing with the bottom of door jams. This one's really dirty because the tiles are done, but I do the same thing. I always clean off the one back and a bit of the sides. You don't want too much on there. If I went right down, to the bottom, it's all going to drip off. So I'm going to start a little bit higher. See that drip? Until I know it's not going to drip anymore. And then I just get right down as close as I can. And just like that. See? So again, just to reiterate, again, I'll clean that little drip up, that little drip. But you wanna, this is the way I do it. You get your brush, you wanna clean this side, maybe clean the ends, leave it on the top. Uh, you don't wanna get right to the wall right away, at least I don't, because it's usually gonna be a bit too much paint. There we go. And then just get it close. like that. Same thing with the door bottoms. Well, this one's not a door bottom, but just a piece of trim. See how dirty it is? If, you were, if I was to take this and just put it on the wall right now, I'll show you what happens. If I just do this. If I was to go really close to the floor and start painting, let's say this is the floor. See what happens? It just starts to drip. So that's why I want to clean the one side. There's paint there, and I'm not going to go right to the floor right away with it. I'm going to just try it. See that? It's a bit too much. That got rid of the extra. So from there, you can just keep getting closer. See, just like that. And then I'll just keep going up this to make it look even better. Oops, some of that grub is wet. Let's cover it up there. Let's see how much better that looks now. So yeah, it is something that anybody can, can take on and do. It is labor intensive, it takes time. Uh, but once you get good at it, you get faster at it, just like anything else. Uh, I'm just taking my time just to show you guys how to do this. That's why it's taking me a bit of time. See, it's already starting to look fresh here. So you just did this little section here, at the top of the wall. Um, I'm just gonna hit it again to tighten it up. Uh, I'm gonna fill these nail holes. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed, hope it helped. Again, it's an interior exterior paint, semi-gloss. The reason I use the interior exterior is it dries quicker. And when you're done, you can just wash your brush, just use warm water. Make sure you get it all out. Um, even if you use a fork with the warm waters to get all that, all the brushes, all the bristles clean. Uh, anyway, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you can like and subscribe, in the I think it's the bottom right. There's a little thing there, um, and then we'll just keep putting up these videos, tutorials. Thanks. Bye. Cheers.